Hello students, today we are going to do the next lesson in EVS 1. Water is very important for our lives. We all need water for many things like cooking, drinking, agriculture, washing clothes, etc. But not only humans, even animals and also plants require water. Now children, what are the different sources of water? Yes, oceans, ponds, rivers, lakes and streams. But now the question is, where do they get the water from? Well, it's from the rain. All the water that we get comes from the rain. It is the rain that fills in all lakes, rivers, streams, ponds, etc. Now this rainwater flows away and some of this water also seeps into the ground. Now the rainy season lasts for three to four months. But along with us human beings, all the other living things use this water throughout the year. But if we do not store water, we will not have enough for our needs. At the same time, we must not waste water and save as much as possible. Children, you all know the importance and the different sources of water. Now, today we will learn the different ways of storing water in the lesson Storage of Water. First, we will see the traditional methods of storing water. In olden days, People used to store water in many different ways. But nowadays, these methods are very rarely used. However, their remains can be seen in many places even though we are not using them nowadays. Some of them are very beautiful and the water in these stores never get over. Children, now look at this picture. What is this? Yes, you all guessed it right. It's a well. Most of you have seen a well either at your native place or somewhere or the other. As so, you all are familiar with a well. Now the rainwater seeps into the ground and so wells are dug to obtain this water. Next is water tanks in forts. In the past, during the rule of Shivaji and the other rulers, the hill forts had tanks dug into the stone for the people who lived on the hill forts like the soldiers and all the others as they also needed water. Now in those days, there were no taps. So tanks were dug into the stone. Next is draw wells, which is also known as Ard. Now these are found mainly in villages. In the past, draw wells were dug to get drinking water. The water could be drawn from these wells using a small pot called as pohra which is tied to a rope. Now a village named Atpadi in Sangli district had a draw well in every wada. Now a wada means a compound or like in Hindi, like we say an angan. Now these draw wells went out of use. That is, people stopped using these draw wells when the tap system was introduced. Now, very few wells are left in Atpadi as many are sealed, which means that these wells are covered. Rivers and Buns now a small earthen wall is built across the river so as to store the water. Now this small wall which is built is called as a bund. Now a mason is the person who uses stones, bricks and concrete to build up this wall and that is why this wall is called as an earthen bund or a masonry bund. Old Reservoirs Now the water collected in the form of artificial lake is called as a reservoir. 
Now, these reservoirs were built in areas which receive very less rainfall or in areas which did not have major rivers. Now, they were built using stone and mortar. Now, mortar means a paste, okay, which is used to bind bricks or stone like how, like a cement. So, this material is used to build these reservoirs. Old tanks, which are also known as howd. Now, it was mainly built in large cities to store waters in the past. And some of these tanks are still in use even today. In those days, as there were no taps, as the cities were growing, they needed huge tanks. So for that purpose, these tanks were built in cities. Dear children, this is Savani and Ameya. They get tap water in their house and so the water from the draw well is not used any longer. But because of this, grandmother is upset. Now, we have to suggest how Savani and Ameya can use the water from the draw well for any other purpose other than drinking. Can you help them, my dear children, to make their grandmother happy? Come on, think. Okay, here we are with a solution. Now, they can use this water for watering plants, washing clothes, for cleaning the utensils, for taking bath and also to clean the house. This way, they can make their grandmother happy. Now, let us see the modern methods of water storage or which are also known as recent systems of storing water. Dams you all must have heard about dams. It is the most important of all the water storages. Now, dams made it possible to store huge quantities of water because of which more land was brought under cultivation. Not only this, it also helped to set up factories and to generate electricity because of which cities began to grow near the areas where dams were built. Now, Maharashtra has several dams, such as the Jaikwadi Dam, the Koina Dam, Ujni Dam and Yeldari Dam. Bore wells. Children, we have learnt that earlier wells were dug to reach the water under the ground. But it was not possible to draw the water which was very deep down. Hence, bore wells are dug for this purpose. Now, bore wells are wells which are very deep but very narrow and to draw water from this well, it is possible only with the help of electric pumps. And the last is the panpoi, which means drinking water stand. Now, people out on the roads at times need water when they are thirsty. Now, in some places, big clay jars of drinking water are kept for the use of such people. Now, this water is offered free of charge and this is known as panpoi. Now, these panpoi's are set up by individuals or institutions. It's mainly like social service to help people without any profit. And it is very useful during the summer season. We mainly find this near railway stations or on the main roads. Children, I hope you understood the different methods of water storage. As water is a natural resource, all living things need water. We must keep this in mind and use water carefully. Answer the following. Why should we store water? We should store water so that we will have enough water for our needs. What are the traditional ways of storing water in the house? The traditional ways of storing water in the house are rainwater harvesting, storing water in containers and in underground tanks.
What is a dam built on? Dams are built on rivers. What must we keep in mind while using water? We must keep in mind while using water that all living things need water and so we must use it economically. What is water pollution? When waste from houses, factories and other buildings get into the different water bodies like lakes, rivers, oceans is known as water pollution.